Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So today we're going over to Matlock and to the Bentley Book Brewing Company whose beers I first discovered, uh, two of them, over at the Byron's Rest Micro Pub in Hucknall. So big tip of the hat to the good people at my, uh, Byron's Rest for supporting breweries that nobody else in Nottingham had. That I've seen at least um, you know and this is from them it's a collaboration with Lumsdale Glass the funny thing about that is um, if you're driving up the hill Lumsdale Glass is there uh, Bentley Book Brewing Company is there for how long we don't know because uh, I've heard a rumor that they may have to relocate at some stage but uh, let's hope not let's hope they can keep going you know they've got a good base wherever they go i'm sure uh, the good people of matlock and further will follow um matlock and matlock bath you know uh, a big area uh for people to visit um and i'm sure if if the location needs to be changed i'm sure they will um, persevere and, and do their best to get there. So this is called Straight from the Kiln The Glass Blower's Breakfast I've already had this and reviewed it on, on a quick beer review um, but obviously it's nice to have it in can. It's been a, a month or two since I've been I think it was March or April I'm not sure, was it May? Oh, I can't, can't remember um, yeah, brewed by Bentley Book Brewing Company, Lumsdale Mill, Lumsdale Matlock, Derbyshire, DE45EX, in collaboration with Lumsdale Glass. And it does not say anything about the beer. It says it's a session pale ale, 4.3%. So let's dive in and see what we get, you know. Um, lively pour, but that's probably because of the beer room and not the beer. Uh, like I say, like I've said on a fair few beer reviews, um, it's not the beer's fault, it's mine, and uh, you know, it is what it is. So, as we can see, it's a, it's a golden pour uh, with a white head. Um, A bit of a tropical nose going off that I can smell. Oh, 4.3%. Ah, beautiful territory. Um, I'll pour some more in. And I'll review what, what's in the, um, in the glass. Then I'll come back, pour the rest out, see what the actual colour is supposed, uh, supposed to be. You know, should it be hazy, and and go from there. So there we go. There's the pour. Like I say, a golden looking pour, reminiscent of probably a West Coast pale, um, with a white head. Got a bit of twang to it. Got to be honest. Um, Four days off. Absolutely loving the fact that I'm not at work. Um, me, the Pepper, and Mrs. Raggy are going for a, to a few pubs tomorrow afternoon. Uh, them that allow dogs in, uh, which won't be which won't be uh, Weatherspoons and Sherwood. And we're going local, so we're going to the Gladstone in in Carrington. Never been. Heard heard about it from from friends who are camera members, so uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. Going to do a few beer reviews while I'm there, as you do. Um, then going over to Doctor's Orders in Carrington as well, and then probably going to take a walk up into Sherwood. Um, go to Craftworks, uh, and then final stop of the day. Uh, on our afternoon out, which won't be long, three or four hours at the most, uh, will be um, the Winchester in Sherwood and uh, 
you know, we may bump into good friends, hopefully, um, Nicola and Simon, uh, and, and the owners of the Winchester, if they're, if they're in, uh, they may well be at home after, you know, Sat Saturdays, normally that time where you want to be at home, and, uh, but, uh, yeah, the good, the good chap and his wife, lovely people, um, and, uh, you know, doing the, uh, raggy beer review thing, um, I will be there and uh, I'm damn sure I'll be taking videos and doing the odd review and uh, you know four pubs maybe a pint or two in each pub dependent on what's on the bar and the price of course because uh, you know I'm not paying silly prices for beer regardless of who makes it so here we go. Glass blower's breakfast. And as we can see, it's turned out a hazy pour now with a white head. I would assume, assume that's the right colour. Um, the beer tastes great anyway, regardless of it, whether it's supposed to be clear or not. Um, and this is that thing with clear beer and a hazy beer. Um, you know, some people like one, some, some people like the other, and some people like myself are not bothered either way. Um, but it looks a good beer. And a cracking brewery, like I say, had literally within the space of three days, had two new bre two, two beers from um, Bentley Book Brewing Company I'd never even heard of Bentley Brook Brewing Company. I had to Google it. And, uh, and for a local, for a beer reviewer who who's predominantly does local beer reviews, um, yeah, that was uh, quite the eye opener. Oh, nice bit of twang to it. And, uh, God be honest, it's hit in the spot. I'm tired. Um, a few days off work. You know, a four day, more or less a mini break away from work and politics. <laughs> and from people, you know, from little people. And by that I mean people who, who think they're more than what they are, little people. And, uh, you know, we all we all have them little people in jobs. People who, you know, who, in a word, bully, but uh, certainly overdo themselves. And, uh, and sometimes we need to, you know, put one in, in their place. And uh, I'm sure um, I'll be doing that at some stage. The only problem with doing that is that, uh, yeah, a lot of those sorts of people don't like being put in their place. And uh, but for the for the greater good, uh, it needs to be done. But we shall see. We shall see nonetheless. Anyway, uh, Great Blowers Breakfast, uh, Glass Blowers Breakfast rather. Um, yeah, Bentley Book Brewing Company. Um, didn't actually meet the actual brewers. Uh, seen the pictures on the internet, of course. Maybe chatted on social media to them. Um, we went down on the uh, uh, Sunday morning. Um, and uh, well, as soon as opening time with letters, and uh, you know, we had some nice beer there. Um, found the place obviously, which was good. Uh, did some random parking. I actually parked on the bloody um, Andy and Ange Happy Drinkers, they parked in the car park across the ways. Uh, I, I parked on the flipping um.
a flipping steep driveway bit going in, to, I assume, to the brewery or whatever it was. Um, yeah, it was steep. And, uh, yeah, I was worried about coming off it and doing damage to the car. And uh, But there you go. Um, oh, gosh. <gasps> Tired. Um, but, yeah, it's in home nicely. Citrusy, into pine and resin. Um, session strength, 4.3%, but yeah, going down a treat. Uh, would I drink this again? Yes, yeah. I've already had it on cask, and it's one of them beers that you want to try again. Uh, out of five for me, good 4.3 out of five. And that's my review. And now I'm going to go up the house. I'm going to get on the settee and I'm going to chill. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Oh.